How's your face? You walked in sore, right? Yeah. Tense? Yeah, it feels better. Tell me where you're from. I live, I'm from Milan, Tennessee. Tennessee. Um, and why are you here? What brings you here? I have chronic jaw dislocation. On which side? I think both. Both sides? I think so. What happens to you? I mean, what? It feels um, like it's always in the wrong place. Uh, I feel like it has um, hindered my speech. Yeah. I feel like I don't really have headaches, but I feel like it has changed the way my face looks. It has definitely changed my smile. Yeah. Does your face feel tense? Do you have like a lot of tension in your yes. face? Yes. My muscles are tight. Can I'm you, never, my, my face never feels relaxed. Can you point to where it feels tight? Right here. In the cheeks? Yes. Uh, the temples, not at all? No. How's your neck range of motion and all that? Pretty it's, normal? It's pretty normal. Some, sometimes I have pain right through here. In your shoulders? Mm -hmm. Back of your neck? Uh, are there days where you don't feel that? Or jawbone is floating around in your skull like it doesn't hit the right spot? Yes, yeah, like if I didn't have skin and muscle, it would be on the ground. Right. I mean, it's bad. It just feels uncomfortable. It's horrible. Yeah, I hear you. It almost feels like it's Something in here is too loose. Does that I mean, make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, look, here's something that can happen. If your muscle's working too hard because it doesn't have a place to really take the jaw, it doesn't have a proper home, if it overworks, it becomes hyperactive. Muscles that are hyperactive, you never give a muscle a break. If you're working out, if it starts hurting, it becomes ischemic. You know, it's like a lactic acid buildup. Yes. You know where I'm going with that? Like a hard workout, you keep working that same muscle group every day. And it doesn't surprise you that that would hurt, and it would be a weak muscle. It would start atrophying. You know, so when you talk about it floating, well, asymmetrical. You know, you might your right side temporalis, for example, the temple muscle might be um, working harder than your left, so the right is chronically fatigued, and it doesn't do its job properly. So, and then the dystonia, the dysfunction that I mentioned to you, you know, I already explained it could be trigeminal, cervical, or sympathetic. You know, so we're addressing the trigeminal primarily, a little bit of sympathetic. We're not really addressing cervical. So you could also have cervical issues that are related to this, especially with the stuff that relates to your back shoulder problem, the stuff you're pointing to back there behind the neck. Mm -hmm. So that's not really my purview. Right. Um, but you know the MRI that we shot on you this morning and interpreted, um, according to the radiologist, things look great. And what I know of the MRI read, you know, I know a fair amount about it, about the joint itself, it looks great. I have felt like it was a, mu a muscular Problem. Well, that's what we treat here. And that's, and that's oh, I hope it works. Bite home hard, break off to your right. And open. Okay, cool. Good work. And open. That feels good. Already, huh? Don't tell me you're a cheap date like that. Oh, man. You just don't know. Well, I know. <laughs> my, my face feels very relaxed. Very relaxed. You look like you're falling asleep. Well, no. I just feel my face feels better. A lot better. So is this the first time in a long time? Oh, yes. Good stuff? Oh, yeah. Good. All right. And I felt my my shoulders don't hurt anymore. Go enjoy it. See ya. Okay, so thank you. <laughs>